Welcome back everyone. You may have just installed Windows 11 and for some reason it's not booting up on your computer. Now this is sometimes an easy fix but it can be kind of hard to do it sometimes. The first thing you want to do is you want to just reboot your computer. So even if it doesn't you know boot up at all you want to go ahead and unplug your PC or your laptop from the power source and you want to plug it back in and then you want to go ahead and hold down that power button again on your PC and you want to see if it boots up. Most of the time, I will say like maybe one out of every five times this may end up fixing it. Sometimes it was just some random problem that happened in the back end and simply just rebooting it may actually end up fixing it. If that still doesn't boot up and your computer is maybe not even turning on or it gets stuck on a logo or whatever, the next thing I would recommend doing and double checking and making sure you install the proper Windows 11 version for your specific computer and that your computer met the minimum requirements. If you somehow, you know, modded your PC or, you know, bypassed some systems for you to actually install Windows 11, then it may not work out for your computer and you may have had some random issue that happened and you may have had some issues there. Now, sometimes you may be able to do boot both into Windows and Windows 10. So if that ends up being the case, if you can go into Windows 10, I'd recommend using that, deleting the partition for Windows 11, and then just using that Windows 10 version for the time being until you're comfortable going back into Windows 11. Now, if that doesn't work either, another option you have is to actually boot up your Windows PC into recovery mode, essentially, and you can go ahead and troubleshoot your computer that way. So I will leave a link in the description that'll show you exactly how to do this for the most part. It's not, you know, completely easy to do, but, you know, it's a possibility and if your PC is still not working as of this point, you may just have to go ahead and just go boot up into recovery mode and go up from there. If that still doesn't work, you can always contact Microsoft and they can help troubleshoot the issue as well. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.